Hey guys, Kid Gear here for the Tech World, and today I have a video on how to create custom Twitter backgrounds. Now, it's kind of a full how-to on how to do it. Now, as you see here, I just made up a, a new Twitter background uh, compared to my old one. Now, I know it looks kind of scrunched because my window is kind of uh, minimized to uh, fit the resolution of recording. But as you see, if I maximize my screen, you can see everything kind of fits pretty well. Uh, you know, it fits nicely in my Twitter stream. And now, why would you want to make a uh, custom background? Now, uh, you know, one thing, if you just kind of want to, you know, add a uh, nice feel to your home page rather than the default, you know, Twitter page or, you know, whatever, whatever anybody else sees on your page, you know, those default themes. Uh, of course, you know, you can select one of those, but, you know, it's kind of, you know, uh, everybody really has those. If you want to add, like, a personal touch to your page or even kind of do, like, personal branding on your page. So you can do, like, you, you know, for me, I put my sites on the side. I even put my email. Some stuff that, you know, the sidebar up here doesn't really show. You know, it kind of just shows how many tweets you have. And if somebody else is viewing your profile, maybe like your location and stuff in your bio. Here you can do like a little bit more bigger bio. You can plug your websites, your email, really cool stuff. And as you see here, I even did my logo kind of sideways. Just had a, you know, you know, cool effect. And I have some pictures layered over here also. So it's, you know, really a, uh, a great way to really customize your Twitter page. And uh, so first off, you know, if you want to do this, there's a lot of ways to do it. So first off, I'm going to settings here. And there's a design that you can do it all from the Twitter interface. If you really don't want to do much, you can kind of do it by using their default settings here. Uh, you're going to go design, and you can see you can select a theme. You can change design colors, which, you know, that can add on to your custom theme. You can, you know, change the link colors, etc., or just change your background image. And that's what we're going to be working on today. So, all right, so uh, first off, if you want to create one from scratch, you can. Uh, there's a great post I found here on creating your Twitter background and guidelines here. It says, and it has a template for your Twitter, you know, uh, background. You can, it gives you all the dimensions. It gives you, you know, the pixel. What you know, what you have to go, uh, you know, it says here twenty forty eight by seven seventeen oh seven uh, pixels, uh, horizontal position, all that stuff. And uh, this is really great, just because you know you can uh, make your own custom one from scratch. You know, just start off with a blank canvas and kind of work your way, you know. Uh, uh, through your background and you know, really really make it your own or you can use services so there's some services one of my favorites is uh, my tweet space now this one the only thing about this one though they charge if you want to get like you know there's some features that you have to pay for but the basic feature is just like a background that I believe that's free but you can get you know if you're really looking to get a really 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 good background like maybe if you're running a Twitter uh, home, a Twitter account for a business or a company and you really really want that really nice looking Twitter background because if you've seen people like Chris Perlow's, I Justine, they really have that nice Twitter background. You can get one professionally designed, you know you can pay, uh, this one's they only cost like $3.99 here. I know there's some other sites you can pay to get a custom one made for $3, $5, so not too much. Um, and you can create a badge here, pick a theme style, update your profile, uh, and you can get that free if you want to try it out here, mytweetspace.com. Uh, now there's also another blog post right here. I got here at uh, it's twit twit tip. I guess it would be it would say, uh, be said uh, on seven free Twitter backgrounds. And these are just grabbing backgrounds from different sites. Now most of these will be PSDs. Now that's the thing. You now what you can do is you can download Photoshop. Uh, the you can get a trial version. I believe I, I, I found it on uh, Adobe.com. Uh, for now, I think actually Adobe.com doesn't have any more because they have CS5 released. But um, if you had something like like I do, if you've had CS4, if you bought CS3, any of those, you can use those too. But um, I'm using CS4. You can also use free solutions like Paint.net, Gimp.net, whatever you feel comfortable with. But um, you can download your themes here and you can go through them and see. You know they have some plain ones. They even have a tutorial down here on how to edit it. Um, but I'm just gonna you know I'll show you that in a second. Uh, now there's also other sites like this one. Like I said, you can buy some patterns. Some people just use you know basic patterns for their sites. And again, this is just if you really want to get you know real professional and you really want to get a nice background. There's even free tools like this one that I found that's really great, like StripeGenerator.com. This is a 2.0 web tool where you can basically use these sliders and stuff to configure your background. Like you know, if you want kind of like a pattern background, then you know I'm just gonna mess around with some random settings here and make it blue. And uh, I'll say the stripe orientations like that, and then I just hit refresh here, and as you see here, I kind of get that, uh, you know, that little, just showing me the orientation of what it looks like of the stripes. Now, obviously, I get the full screen preview. I can, you know, change the pixel ratio, and then I can make that my background for Twitter, and you know, I can still add on to it. So, if you're really wanting to make, you know, one from scratch, this is a great tool, uh, and I'll leave some other tools to make some other, you know, cool backgrounds, and you can, you know, go through here if you want. Um, so those are some great tools to, uh, you know, make your own custom background, or if you just want to get a template, that's fine too, I use the template, 
So uh, I'll leave links to multiple templates that you can check out, but uh, I have one here that I'm going to go ahead and cut to and I'll be, uh, show you uh, how to edit it and you know some things whether you're in Photoshop, GIMP, whatever it may be. Alright, so here I am in uh, Photoshop CS4 again. You can do the CS3, uh, you know, if you get CS5 when that comes out, whatever you want to do. Uh, now this is the theme I use. Uh, this one is again one of those default themes or templates. I'll leave links again in the under bar, I should say, the video description for um, you know uh, different templates that you can check out and you know download. Now the first thing you want to do if you get a th theme like mine is you want to delete this. This content here is kind of to show you as an example of what it would look like uh, with the, with the background enabled. And you see those margins right there to kind of show you you don't want to put anything behind that because your Twitter stream is really going to block that off. Um, now when you upload the background, you, you don't want any of this right here just because it's going to do a double layer on your Twitter background. So what you want to do is, as you see here, they kind of separated it here and they labeled it in the templates. It says here, content. You see that content right there? Hang on, I actually scrolled past it. So I'm going to scroll back up and find that. Content. And uh, yeah. I'll click that button, content, and hit delete. And then what it's going to do, it's going to delete all of this right here. And you see that because you don't want that there when you actually upload it to your you know Twitter background, and you don't obviously want that logo there because it's already on the website. So I'm gonna take away the Twitter logo here, playable Twitter logo, and if you want to you know get rid of some other stuff like so that bird's kind of faded in there. You can you know uh, let's see here you know if you want to move them around, I'm gonna take away the Twitter T, and that will delete. And again, you can just really make it your own from here on there. You can you know just take simple stuff. Uh, like the Twitter bird and then you know move it to wherever you want you know you want to move it over here and you can do that you can move it really anywhere and sorry if it's a little laggy because I'm recording but uh, now for the most part you can add text right here again like I said you can do whatever you want in terms of text I did a little biography of myself and then I gave my uh, you know a couple of my websites uh, uh, my email address so they can contact me so I'm just gonna hit the text tool and simple as that, just you know clicking over here and you know, I'll tell you that you may not have the font. Some some of the templates will come with a font that the the theme is written in. That way, you can you know, uh, if you want, you like the look of it, and you know, you can just write whatever. I'm just gonna write random letters here, and then uh, you know, you can change the font size to whatever. Obviously, you don't want to make it too big because you know, you don't again, you don't want it to pass the margin lines that show uh, within your you know graphics editing app. Now, you can put a logo here. You can put really anything, and again. It's just really, really that customizable, and you can change it to however you want. And, you know, people really get creative. My old background was kind of like a desk-looking thing, so you know, you get really creative with the templates you have, and you can move stuff around, put pictures over here even if you want, because this this little margin right here, the square, is also open space. So if I wanted to have, let's see, you know, uh, where is it? Again, and most of these templates will actually label what they have right here. So, all right, they'll label the layers. So layer three. You know, I can move anything there. You know, they have colors and stuff like that. So you can really get. Hang on. Uh, again, like I said, you can really customize your background to like you know, drop that folder or should open that folder, I should say. Uh, and you can you know drag your own pictures in here. For example, if you don't want those pictures, you can go ahead and delete those. I think those are at the top here. So Polaroid photos. Yeah. So this is kind of uh, if you've used the Photoshop or GIMP, you can just click this layer right here and delete it. And as you see there, the picture will delete, and then you can uh, open one of your own pictures, you know, maybe like an avatar or, you know, a display picture of you, and go ahead and upload it there. All right, guys, and then after you get that, you're going to want to render it. Uh, I'm not going to, you know, render this one because I already have a background, but when you do save it, whether you're in Photoshop or whatever, I like to save it as a JPEG, but um, you want to render it in obviously good quality if you're in Photoshop. I say 7 or 8, 8 or 9 is also good in terms of quality for your JPEG. But when you actually open uh, Firefox, let me open up Firefox here. When you actually go to your Twitter design, you're going to notice when I say change background image, there's a 800 kilobyte limit. So you want to make sure you stay within that limit. Uh, it only accepts GIFs, JPEGs, and PNGs. And once you obviously upload it, you don't want to tile your background unless you're using like a pattern, like a stripe pattern, then you can tile it. Other than that, you're going to upload it and you're good to go. And then you can, you know, trial and error if you want to fix it, if it doesn't, you know, fit your resolution and everything like that. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this kind of full tutorial on how to get custom Twitter backgrounds. Again, don't forget to check out all the links in the video description. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to check out our website at adriansec.com, and I will catch you guys in the next video.